The cell cycle in living organisms is necessary for growth and repair for most of eukaryotic organisms' various cells and even helps unicellular organisms reproduce. The cell cycle is comprised of interphase, which is separated into G1 phase S and G2. A cell grows in G1, replicates its chromosomes in S, and grows and prepares for mitosis in G2. Mitosis then divides the nucleus of a cell, eventually producing cells with 46 chromosomes in humans. Meiosis, however, is only part of sexual reproduction and fertilization of gametes. Meiosis goes through two cell divisions. The first, meiosis I, involves the site of genetic material crossing over, or chiasma. Homologous chromosomes form tetrads by the process of synapsis. The homologs are separated during anaphase I, with sister chromatids remaining together, giving two cells so far, which divide once more, giving four haploid cells. The meiosis II phase separates sister chromatids, creating gametes with one set of 23 chromosomes in humans. Meiosis is significant for genetic variation among organisms. Mitosis begins at the end of interphase. That's when the cell is growing strong. Then there's prophase. The nucleus disappears. So metaphase could come along. Chromosomes lighting up, reaching out down the center of the cell. Now, at a phase, centromeres pull chromosomes to each side. Telophase and cytokine. Esis finish the divide. The first part works just like mitosis. Homologous pairs split in two. However, now. The chromosomes line up in tetrads, and this is what they do. Now, meiosis to haploid cells splitting to four daughter cells. Sister chromatids separate half the DNA per cell. Each daughter cell only has single chromosomes as well. Cell division, mitosis, two identical cells made. Cell division, meiosis, four cells with half the DNA. Cell division. Cell division, 